You're watching KPVI News at 10 Weekend. News that works for you. And those rain showers just will not go away. Let's take a look at what's happening outside right now. As you can see, south central Idaho pretty much inundated with rain. Even some rain snow mix in some of the upper elevations. That's pushing along the uh, I-84, I-86 corridor in through Pocatello, in through I-15, through Idaho Falls right now. Some heavy rain right now in between Blackfoot and Idaho Falls. As we take a look, we see where that system is coming from. Off the coast, the Pacific coastline, that has moved in. Those showers should diminish around midnight, 1 a.m leaving behind some cloudy skies, but there is another band of moisture that is heading in off the Pacific, and that'll be hitting us tomorrow night. As we take a look at our future tracker, here's what you can see starting tomorrow. Yep, those rain showers gathering in and around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, right when you get home from school, home from work. That's when those rain showers are going to start. The nice thing is they won't last as long as what they lasted today. Now, we did have a wind advisory out this afternoon. That has since expired, but we did get some wind speeds gusting up anywhere from 35 to 45 miles per hour. As you can see, as the sun went down, those uh, wind speeds have kind of settled down too. Right now, not too bad, anywhere from about 10 to 13 miles per hour. So as we take a look at our forecast for overnight tonight, we are expecting rain showers, like I said, to extend into about midnight, 1 a.m. Our overnight lows remaining above the freezing mark, but still kind of cold with those overnight lows in the 30s, mid 30s right there. And then for the highlands in western Wyoming, we do expect a rain snow mix bringing with it another maybe two, three, four inches of snow in the higher elevations. Yellowstone, yep, dipping down below the freezing mark at 24. Afton, 31. Island Park, 29. Jackson at 30. Let's take a look at the Central Mountains for overnight tonight. We expect cloudy skies, cloudy conditions, not really getting a whole lot of that moisture that's moving in, but still cold nonetheless. Chalice at 33 for a low tonight. Arco at 30. Salmon at 34. Ledore at 28. And Stanley at 23. Now for tomorrow, as we move into Monday, cloudy conditions for the Central mountains are highs getting into the upper 40s maybe middle 50s and this is a good sign because we do have some warmer temperatures on the way for pretty much all of central and eastern Idaho so we look at the western uh, Wyoming and the highlands cloudy conditions as well escaping a lot of that afternoon moisture so our highs tomorrow will be 43 in Jackson 41 in Island Park Soda Springs hitting 44 as well now in the valley not so lucky. We will have cloudy conditions for much of the day, but those showers are going to be starting up around 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon and the remaining till about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock with the daytime highs getting into the 50s. Idaho Falls at 52, Pocatello 53, Blackfoot 53, American Falls at 54. Now let's take a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers seven day forecast. Yeah, we'll have some winds picking up as well. Uh, not too bad though, but it will be a little, a little windy with those showers in the afternoon highs tomorrow in the 50s but take a look as a week progresses yeah we're gonna have some afternoon showers on Monday and Tuesday but then cloudy conditions for Wednesday look at that what's that that's a sun <laughs> Thursday and Friday warmer temperatures approaching 70 degrees for the high on Friday but you know all good things must come to an end we'll expect those showers returning just in time for the weekend with the daytime highs backing off to the 60s and 50s Idaho Falls also expect that warm-up Thursday and Friday getting into the 60s, upper 60s by Friday, and then a chance of those showers returning as we back off on those daytime highs. Let's take a look at Rexburg. Yeah, we expect a cloudy conditions tomorrow, a chance of some afternoon showers on Tuesday, daytime highs in the 40s and 50s. We will be warming up Thursday and Friday with sunshine highs in the 60s, and then a chance of some thunderstorms moving in on Saturday with a high of 64. Jackson, Afton, Driggs, we're looking for a chance of some more snow on the way for Tuesday. Tuesday night into Wednesday morning with daytime highs in the 40s, overnight lows below the freezing mark into the 30s and upper 20s. We will get a dose of that sunshine as well Thursday and Friday. Saturday and Sunday, a chance of some rain showers entering back into the forecast. Central Mountain, seven day forecast, looking for cloudy conditions tomorrow, some afternoon showers by Tuesday. Yeah, you get a little bit of that warm stuff too with uh, some clouds for Thursday and Friday with daytime highs in the 60s. And once again, a chance of those showers returning for the weekend.